So hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. So from this video, we are going to start a new chapter named this one. This is video number six, and in this video, we are going to cover solar para parameters, which include solar mass, radius, luminosity, and solar effective temp effective solar temperature. So if you have any confusions, suggestions, or doubts, you can mail us on this email. So what is solar parameters? So the basic parameters of the sun are its mass, radius, luminosity and the effective surface temperature. So what is solar mass? We know that the mean distance of the sun from the earth is near about 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 11 meter. And it is called the mean solar distance which is denoted by A. In astronomy, we measure mean distance in terms of A and it defines the astronomical unit. One astronomical unit equal to mean solar distance. And to obtain the expression for mass of the sun, we will use Kepler's third law. Here we assume that the mass of the planet can be neglected in comparison with the large mass of our sun. And this can be used for our earth sun system. And so we can write 4 pi a cube by p square. And so from Kepler's law we can write 4 pi square a cube by p square equal to g m naught. Where a, p, g and m naught are the solar distance orbital period of the earth gravitational constant and the mass of the sun respectively. So putting all these well known values we get mass of our sun as m theta equal to 2 into 10 raised to the power 30 kilogram. So this value is taken as the mass of the sun exists today. In fact solar mass decreases continuously since the sun continuously emits radiation and particles which carry with them some mass. However the total mass loss during the sun's estimated lifespan which is about 10 raised to the power 11 years is found to be less than 10 raised to the power 27 kg. This value is much less than the error in measurement of the solar mass and therefore negligible. Also we can use this method to estimate the masses of other satellites and moons of the planets in our solar system. Solar radius. The radius of our sun can be estimated if we know the values of its angular diameter theta and the mean solar distance a. So from this uh, figure you can see that here is our earth and this is our sun. So the angular diameter of the sun is 32 seconds. So from observation we get the angular diameter of our, our sun is which is about 32 seconds and the mean solar distance is uh, 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 11 meter. So from basic geometry we get the value of uh, r theta equal to 6.7 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter which is the radius of our sun also known as solar radius. Also astronomical observations indicate that the solar radius is not constant rather it values changes slowly. Over a period of uh, approximately 10 raised to the power 9 years the average change is about 2.4 cm per year. Further the radius of the earth is about uh, 6.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 meter. Thus the, earth, thus, the sun's radius is almost 1000 times larger than that of earth. Luminosity The solar luminosity L theta is defined as the total energy radiated by the sun per unit time in the form of electromagnetic radiations. It is uh, in uh, unit time what amount of energy sun radiates in the form of electromagnetic radiation is known as its luminosity. So let us imagine a sphere with the sun at its center. The radius of this imaginary sphere is A, the mean distance between earth and sun. So here we uh, assume a sphere uh, of which, uh, at which center sun is split and this is our earth. Now if each unit area A of this sphere receives an energy equal to S which is known as the solar constant. Therefore the luminosity can be expressed as L theta equal to 4 pi S square. S. So S is the energy received per unit area of the sphere. Then the total energy received by the sphere will be equal to 4 pi S square S which is known as the luminosity of our sun. Since the solar radiation is absorbed in the earth's atmosphere, it is obvious that S should be measured above the atmosphere. S is now measured accurately using satellites and its value is, and its value is S equal to 1370 watt per meter square. So putting this value, putting the value of S in the above equation, we get total luminosity of our sun L theta equal to 3.86 into 10 raised to the power 26 watt. Now what is solar temperature? So the temperature of the sun at its surface and its interior regions are quite different. The surface temperature can be estimated using Stephen Boltzmann law and its values comes out to be 6000 Kelvin. This estimated temperature is called the effective surface temperature of our sun because it is the temperature of a black body whose surface emits the same flux as the sun. 
So basically, here we consider our sun as a black body, and then we use Stephen Boltzmann's law, and we get its surface temperature. So this is the temperature of the surface layer of our sun, which is uh, also known as the photosphere, from which all the radiations are emitted. So this is for today's video. We hope that you have uh, enjoyed it. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, and if you have any suggestions or comments, you can write in the comment box. Also, you can mail us on our email. So thank you for watching this video.